This is uh, Alicia Garza. She's an activist. She's sometimes listed as a, an American civil rights activist, but she's uh, known for co-founding the International Black Lives Matter movement. Uh, she's uh, also uh, been prominent in issues of health, students, student services, rights for domestic workers, and ending police brutality transgender and gender non-conforming people of color, their rights as well. Uh, she's written for The Guardian, The National, Rolling Stone, and uh, Truth Out. And she currently directs special projects at National Domestic Workers Alliance. Is a principal at the Black Futures Lab. So uh, she's about 39 years old. She was born in uh, 1981 on January 4th. And her original name is Alicia Schwartz and whatnot. So uh, she's an actress. Uh, recently, she's a. Uh, I never knew who the fuck she was, nor did, nor would I give a shit. You know, as I am a black man, a street black man, I've I I didn't know who the fuck she was. I didn't know she existed until uh, I happened upon the Roland Martin interview with uh, Ice Cube over his. Uh, sit down with the Trump administration, which uh, a good 30% of that was just uh, propaganda on their part, you know, because it's an election cycle, you know. But uh, Ice Cube was given no quarter, you know. And uh, this one was brought in midway through the interview by the cowardly Roland Martin to uh, help him uh, ambush Ice Cube over uh, social media in a Zoom interview, Zoom meeting interview, you know. So, uh, you know, when I first saw her and I heard how she was speaking to the man, she didn't have any respect for him, and, and it was no way she didn't know who he was, you know, unless she lived on the moon, and we'll get to that later. When I heard how she was speaking to him, it, it was uh, it was frustrating, you know, or not. Uh, this man has uh, an esteemed uh, career in entertainment across mediums, and he's also a successful businessman, and he unsuccessfully tried to purchase uh, a number of uh, television stations uh, over the last couple of years, you know, but he was uh, blockaded, you know. You know, he was blockaded by the mainstream establishment whatnot, but given these things and the fact that he's pretty much kept his nose clean, you know, as much as a gangster rapper could, especially an icon like he is, and, and she would know this, uh, given how, you know, given how prominent he is and how he's kept his nose clean, that there was no reason for her to have the attitude that she did, you know. So, you know, I want to show you a couple more pictures. Why not? Let's take a real good look at these pictures. Look, look at her. Look at her fucking face. Okay. What do you see when you look at the face of Alicia Garza? What do you see? And I'm gonna tell you what the fuck I see. Uh, I see a very smug, entitled individual. Okay, a very smug, entitled individual. All right, and. uh you know, there's no way she could have known, couldn't have known that who Ice Cube was. You know, she obviously knew because she was on the, the program, you know, rolling, wheeled her ass in and shit. This is your classic example of an uh, agent provocateur, you know, showing her face. Because these days when they're, you know, they're not dressed in uh, all black or, you know, hiding behind ski masks and, uh, you know, the face coverings, uh, they roll out these women, you know, these black women. They roll them out. Uh, she's mostly an advocate for uh, for the alternative, I would say, you know. But that's not an issue here. What is an issue is her fucking attitude and the fact that she's an agent provocateur. And anybody listening to her is a, is a goddamn idiot. You got to look this shit up, man. You know, I don't know what the deal is with Black Lives Matter, but I don't believe it's a legitimate movement, and uh, I don't subscribe to any right wing or. Uh, bullshit from the mainstream. Okay, I'm just a I'm an independent free thinker, 
And uh, I, I'm just offended by this woman. She's full of shit. And uh, just take a good look at that picture again. Take a good look. Look at this shit. You know, look at her fucking face and tell me what you see. I see an asshole, okay? An asshole, you know, who's, uh, you know, snuck into, snuck in the back door, uh, more or less. And she, someone's decided she, she can speak on our issues and whatnot when she doesn't know anything about that. You know, you say, yeah, she's uh, one of these Black Lives Matter advocates. You know, you know she, she's from Oakland. I don't know what the fuck's going on with Oakland, man. They're coming up number three behind Ch uh, Chicago and Atlanta. You know, it's fuckery. You know, agents and shit and coons. And, and this one, make no doubt about it, she's in the coon category. You know, then she's part of what they've been calling the gynocracy, the new faces of it, which is uh, all uh, based on hypergamy and uh, fake feminism and shit. And a, and a blind, leading the blind of the black feminist movement. Well, they just shoot themselves in the fucking foot. None of this shit. Oh, by the way, you know, just, just to cover that, she is married to a transgender man. And uh, she's queer. Okay? This has nothing to do with her orientation. That's as much of a disclaimer as you're going to get. I just want to say, Ms. Garza, you are a piece of class A shit. Okay? A piece, a piece of shit. You know, and fuck your advocacy. Fuck your activism. It's fake advocacy, you know? You know, Black Lives Matter. You you should not be in that organization. I don't give a fuck about what you're doing. Going on, but I will be watching you from here on out and shit. And seeing what else you do, you know? Because I'm going to keep my eye on all these weirdos. They keep popping up right now during these trying times, you know? And before anybody gets on my ass about, you know, fucking with her because she's a woman and all that bullshit... I just think she's faking shit. I don't know how any other black women can even uh, deal with this female and shit. You know, you think you know she's down for the cause and shit, man. But she's just a uh, princess, man. She's a she's a she comes from a princess. She's her her fucking name, her fucking maiden name was Schwartz and shit. Okay, and, and don't give me no shit. She ain't from the streets. Okay, she ain't from she ain't from the soil as they like to say and shit. She's from the mean streets of Marin County. Okay. The mean streets of Marin County. Tell me what she know about anything over there and shit. She was at most a token black and shit. Okay? And her the expression on her face speaks to that and shit. She's from fucking Marin County and shit in California. And, you know, I want to tell you that, you know, current, you know, trends aside, uh, the median income for a home over there is $100,750 and shit on a low. All right? $100,000. $104,750 on the low for a home there shit. You know, what ghetto is there? What what ghetto people are living in Marin County and shit, huh? What guarantee? So even if she was like going over the hill to Oakland and shit and immersing herself in the community, she's still a poser. She's still a poser, man. From her top of her weave to, to her uh, weird uh, t chest tattoo, which, which had script on it and shit. And uh, she just was bought in by the cowardly criminal, you know, the boule criminal Roland Martin and shit, who should be fucking ethered and shit, man. He should be canceled to the nether regions and shit, man. Let's look at this shit. You know, how dare you fuck with somebody that's trying to do something for our community and shit? You don't have anything to worry about, shit. You live in an ivory tower, bitch. Okay? Stay out of our business. We don't fucking need you. We don't want you and shit. You just pick up your paycheck and you keep doing your little shit, okay? You keep doing shit over there in your community because you ain't a part of the black community and shit. And you can go fuck yourself. Now, fuck you, okay? And, and what's the next wig you're going to wear and shit, you know? Because, like, the pictures I have here, you have a, a black dookie braid thing in. And, you know, when you, you appear to roll a Martin and shit, uh, you put on the blonde hair and shit. And I just fuck your attitude, there's no education that, that supersedes common decency and treating another person like a human being. Then fuck you. You know, you had the nerve to comment that if you had Ice Cube's uh, platform, you could do, you know, do, you know, a lot, you know. May you never get that, okay? You, you're nobody. Nobody know the fuck you are. You're a poser. You just popped up on the grid and shit. You're a fucking agent, okay? And you guys out here to sow disinformation and fuck with our people again. We're trying to get, 
get out of a hole that we've been in for like hundreds of years. And fuck you. Why don't you take your ass back to San Marin County and shit and do an advocate over there for uh, that ethical treatment of, of seagulls or some shit, you know? Don't nobody need you. you. Where you come from? Okay, that's what they should have asked your ass. But the whole movement, you you front the shit, they're false. They're disingenuous. They ain't shit. Fuck you. And get out of our goddamn community and shit. We don't need you. There's no leaders over here. It's just people living in this shithole. We're trying to get out of it. So fuck you. Whatever happens, you ain't you ain't here with us. You take your ass back to Marin County and shit and, and, and have a tea party or something. Fucking asshole. A smug piece of shit. I had enough of this shit, man. Then yeah, fuck y'all. They're going to keep watching you bitches, too. Come on, man. I can hardly wait to see the next one of you guys pops up and shit like a goddamn sentinel over here. Fuck you. You know? And don't worry. We, we looking for Roland. Don't worry, man. We He getting, he getting some of this. He getting some of this verbal work, too, man. He getting this verbal. We're going we gonna to turn up for Roland, too. All right? Don't worry. We're going to turn up for this fat fuck. Anyway, uh, you know, whatever. Hey, hey, you know, have a croissant and a smile, bitch. Fuck yourself.